What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, episode number 70 with me, Gamer Noob. We are gonna try to see what this does. Can I, can I do that? No? I just want to see if this will help us win this or not. Let's just, let's just see. Maybe. Maybe it'll help us not die. <clears throat> I don't know. Right, let's see here. What if I just wanted to... I'm trying to see what might be the best way to take things out quickly, you know? She does not one shot. Now she does, but she might be better served there. Just trying to take things out as quickly as possible here as possible. We need to get up here ASAP. He's gonna attack and instantly give one of my group. <clears throat> so we just gotta start moving, you know. Yes. As much damage out as possible. I'm, try I'm trying to kill them round two. Oh, that's huge, actually. That might help me kill them round two. Get a bonus turn. Not gonna work, is it? Nope. Two bonus turns and still don't make it. So he's gonna instantly kill everybody back there now. I feel like it's close. I feel like we're close to being able to do this. I can't lose all the marksmen. I just can't. Like, the, it would just be very bad for my my army. I can kill him in two turns. They still get a double turn. They did not. Now they're dead. I need to get them to like right here so he walks up is the thing. That's not gonna work. We're gonna lose them right then, okay? So I need to kill the Incubuses so the guy doesn't react just quickly. Just learning, we're just learning how to deal with champions like this, you know? If that could hit a 55, it would be over, but it was not. Nope, nope, nope. <clears throat> I need to get it to where he kills the Incubus. Or gets a double turn and kills the Incubus. And if that doesn't work, we have to reload it. Because otherwise, we will lose our people. We can lose our guy one guys. We can lose our one group. We can't lose the other group is the problem. Yeah. So they didn't hit hard enough, so that just has to happen. Oh, 
honestly think moving up to maybe to here might work. Just a long walk around, you know? Yeah, if it doesn't work this time, it's just not going to work. I just don't deal enough damage, so we're just going to reload the uh, quick save. Yeah, because he just one-shots them. <gasps> Did not one-shot them. Wait a minute. No, I needed to... I need to do to No, 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 no. I needed to heal. I thought they had way more health than that. How late did they when did they get to eight people all of a sudden? They like sacrificed themselves and got down to eight? <clears throat> when and how and why? Okay, so we could actually kill them with her with them now. It's very possible. It didn't happen. But might be okay. It is not okay, obviously, because we can't let them do that. I gotta find a way to deal with these these guys who just one shot my back line. Like I mean I do it too, but like come on, like that's rough to deal with. I'm just gonna kill him. Did like a 53, 53. Pretty close. Smag him. Get a double turn. Dang it. The only double turn that would truly help would be the archers, and they did not get it. If they had gotten a double turn, we would have won this. Please don't kill them. Just please don't kill them. They're not all the way dead. We have a chance. Okay. You're like all back. That's all the healing we get to do. See what happens. See who gets brought back. <clears throat> we brought back 73 of those, 3 of those. That's, I think that's actually fine. I think that's acceptable. I'll take that. I didn't lose my marksman, which is what I was more most concerned about. Huge clefts have been hewn into the rocky land, leaving only a high, narrow passage wide enough for a rank of only five soldiers. Demons would have a fierce defense on the cliffs above, but were slaughtered, so now Crusaders can take control of this advantageous position. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We found crimson dust, apparently. More fights, please. Sorry that the first like 10 minutes of the video where this was that silly fight, but kinda is what it is. Y'all have a lot of help. Player three of them. All right, go for it. Just take out one group at a time. Whether they 
it shouldn't be too quick. Definitely not wasting my shot on that. What the heck? I didn't think you even had that much movement in you. Somebody didn't care about... Oh, nice. It's huh. fine. I accept that. Take him out, take him out! I don't know really know how traps work yet, so I'm trying, trying to figure it out. Because, like, they don't walk into them, is the thing. Like, they just don't walk into the traps. So I don't really know what you're supposed to, to do. Good stab. Only two, that's fine. Goodbye. I mean, I think we're fine on the infirmary size here. Innervative attacks times three. Doesn't innovative attacks decrease your level? I can't remember exactly, but I thought that's what they might do. No more magic missiles. Go smack him with your staff, then. Watch that get all 13 of them killed. <laughs> That'd be funny. Only three of them. And we get all our people back. Good. Good, 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 good. This one army clears the way very well. I don't know if it's the best army you can make, but it's decent. The mine was once filled with undead, but has now been cleared. When demons got close to the mine is to save themselves, the miners blocked the entrance, hoping that help would arrive before they started to death. Alas, the help never arrived, and those traps suffered a truly horrible fate. But we got a mine! That's that guy who just one-shots all my dudes. Might be able to take him soon, because we should be able to start one-shotting his people, honestly. We're gonna head down here and see where this leads. It leads to him, that's what I thought. Okay. I would like to look at your army and, like, split them up. But I guess I can't do that. Okay, back to the party then. No. We will rest when we get back. No. Sure, I'll encounter a traveling merchant. <clears throat> Why not? Oh, it's Skeleton again. That's fast. Oh, show me your wares. Holy Blair. <sighs> You've marched me to the bones today. Yes, I have. Potions. Blood broiler for longsword. Plus three flaming longsword. Kills an enemy. Its corpse exploded. Dealing damage to all the enemies around. I thought you were getting protection stuff, sir. Personal protection equipment. I disagree. Alright, let's see those. I don't need anything right now. I don't think you were selling anything that was like personal protection equipment, actually. 
Oh, wait, I can sell stuff. Sell! Step one, bulk selling. Step two. Don't want that. Actually, we're going to keep Delamere's. That's right. I don't use short bows. Actually, you use short bows, don't you? You do, but you have a plus three already and a minus one AC on that plus three. I like that. Okay. So we'll sell the eye for an eye. Great axes. Yep. Yep. Yeah, sell it. Keep those. Sell that. A ring of protection plus one. Definitely getting sold. Plus two wisdom. Meh. Plus one cloak. Meh. Whenever the wearer of this cloak channels energy to heal, the wearer gains plus two persuasion checks and DC with compulsion. Whenever this wearer of this cloak channels energy to harm. Deal. Oh, we have 351,000. That's a crazy amount. Fine. Set up camp. Uh, hate that I have to rest. But Ninio is overburdened. Meh. Shut up, Ninio. Nobody cares. At least we got our buddy back. Yeah, we are abyssally corrupted now. Thanks. Thanks, Nini Ninio. Couldn't just leave. We'll get Let us taken away off. when we rest back in town again, but <sighs> for now we have it. What happened now? A large group of suspicious individuals is right at the gate of Dresden. They wish to join the crusade. Officers have recognized a number of thieves and murderers among their ranks. Seems the newcomers are only interested in what is war. Should we be accepted? Cannot start that at the moment, apparently. Do we have more movement for our armies? Is the question. We do! Alright. Oh, you actually can't go to there. Crazy. Well, I guess we'll take on this. Take this on. Rogues. Marksman. Goodbye. Are you evil rogues? Maybe. Smack you on the head a few times. Give you a little bop bop. <laughs> you have baby movement, so. Goodbye, rogues. Guess we're going after the shield bearers now. 300 shield bearers is a lot of shield bearers. Definitely give them the days. Alright, I could have ran him all the way around, so I didn't need to do that. That's okay. It's gonna take a while. These guys are tanky. Sure, go ahead and cast it. Anything to work the number down a little bit faster. We're gonna be here forever anyway. Like, this should just be auto resolved, honestly, at this point. Like, he can't kill enough of me for it to matter. And it's just gonna take so many turns. Like, we'll get through him eventually. Take the double turn, even though it's not that much damage. Just slowly chip away. He does like one to three, probably. Every time. I don't know why these guys are against me, though. It's kind of unfortunate. They should all have joined my cause. Maybe some of them will after this fight, who knows. Wow. 
That was the thing in like my magic is where they would uh like you would get groups to join you after you beat them for sure. Or like if you were too strong, they would uh <laughs> they wouldn't fight you. They'd be like, "Nah, can we join instead?" And you'd be like, "Alright, come on." If we had let those marksmen get a turn, we would have had a bad time, but consider since our marksmen one tapped their marksmen, it doesn't matter. And one tap, yeah, we're bringing in some uh some Valorant lingo here, one tap and fools. Goodbye. No, woo woo. I accept. No, uh, huh, no, uh, things that popped up like, hey, I want to head back and pick up my other people, honestly. I don't know where this will go is the thing. I wish I knew. Here we go. Hell Knights and Marksman, please. I try to find the path. It might be here. Nope. There's definitely a path. I just don't know where it is. I guess we'll just wait. Alright, party. Head into Dresden, please. We got things to do. Let's manage it first, though. See if everything's built yet or not. See if we can build other things, perhaps. Hey, look at that. It is built. Nice. We cannot build other things at the moment, though. We are very lacking on materials at the moment. Hmm. We have an engineer's workshop in the supply center. Okay, engineer's workshop and supply center. Kind of want a hospital. Kinda want a hospital. Kinda want. Sanctuary. We want we want we should build things that increase. We need 225 materials. Oh my. I'm just gonna buy enough to do that for now. Just do that every time we want to build something. And we can build a sanctuary. It doesn't matter where it's built. And it increases energy points, which is nice. Okay, let's see here. Now we don't need that. Teleportation smirk could be nice. Trying to find things that boost things. Hospital. Hall of Strategy. Hall of Glory. Hospital Hall of Strategy. Hall of Glory. Build a hospital. So that's like 504. And that's 774 minus 32 is, what, 742? Hall of Strategy. Oh, that's a big hall. Hall of Strategy. Everything's building. Okay. Um. Now let's see. I want to know if diagonal is adjacent, because I hope it is. Apothecary. Alchemist lab. Apothecary. Arsenal. Apothecary. Arsenal. Military academy? 
360, 135, so that's 495, 594. That's a huge, what the heck? Okay. Kind of want a teleportation circle. Teleportation circle. Smithy. So we need 112 plus 180, that's uh, 292 plus 68, that's 292 plus 68 is 270, or no, 370, sorry, 370, 370. We have the money. I don't know where I'll put you there. Teleportation circle can go. I don't know yet. Smithy can go here though. Teleportation circle. I was off. I was up by ten. By the way, my bad. My math was bad. Bad math. Yeah. So we don't have a shelter, but we're not gonna get one. Pathfinder Society Lounge Lodge could be nice. So ninety. Mercenary Guild could be nice as well. So 360, so if they say it's 350 plus 90 is 440. Plus 180 is 40 plus 60 is 500. Plus 20 is 620. 620 plus 90 is 710. And then 710 plus 45 is 755. Not gonna slap. Citadel. Go. Main base. And we're out of. Oh, we need 6,000. Oh, we're out of that now. Okay, I was like, what? So we need 6,750 and 1,800. I'm going to do that one with the calculator because I'm getting tired of doing the math myself. Minus 238. 8,312. I think it's worth it. I think we got everything we needed. Except the shelter. Yeah, I don't think we need that because we already can do that here. So, yay, things are being built. Cool. That was a lot of buildings. But I think it was worth it. Now, into Dresden we go. We have things to do here. People to see, babies to kiss, hands to shake. All sorts of things. Sorry if you heard the voop voop from my phone. I was putting it on the charger. I was putting it on the charger. like my headphones just vibrated that was weird that was weird 
Some say that being a kind person is hard work, that most people can't do it. Is that true? Look at the people standing next to you. Don't you love, want to love these people? Is it so hard to smile at them, to say a kind word, to share with those in need? Don't you feel joy when you do something good for others? And isn't it wonderful when they do the same for you? Kindness is the easiest and most pleasant thing in the world. Crowd is gathered in the street. Young and old civilians and soldiers, everyone listening to this frail elf girl, captivated by her delicate voice as it rings out. And what about ungrateful assholes, huh? You do good for them and they just shit on you in return. Just don't be like them, and don't get angry at these people. They don't know what they're doing. Don't abandon them to their silliness and sins. Keep doing good and you will see. Sooner or later, they will realize what's wrong. Yeah, she will teach you to live good lives. Absolutely. Right, Commander, that's for sure. Thank you for your kind words. I'm not saying anything special. These are simple things. Everyone knows them. Come on, keep talking. One man claps his hand and others join in with claps and cries of encouragement. Alright, I was talking about being kind to your neighbors, and look, the commander decided to set an example. The girl keeps preaching. Nice. Good job, Ember. You're doing great, girl. You're doing fantastic. I don't know why a Relu spawned way down there, why I spawned way up here. It just makes it take longer for me to get all the way over here, but that's okay. Delamere's longbow that I wanted to keep. Um, oh yeah, mythic levels, forgot. Alright, let's see. You are our ranged person, I know that much. Here, you can have point blank shot mythic, enjoy. We're not going to use a lot of these people, but some of them we'll end up using, so. I don't know. What you're going to use. Maybe I'll just give you Unrelenting res Assault for now. Oh, you have so many more. Oh, dear. Okay. Here, you can have Destiny Beyond Birth. So I don't have to think that much. And Lucky. Lucky Attack. Yep. And... Flawless Attacks. Those all seem decent. Let's see. You know, yeah, Mythic Resolve is even nice for you. Conjuration or Divination? Hmm. That seems cool. Conjuration. Dazzling display mythic seems good to me. Everybody good now? Everybody's good now, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Hurry up, Eve, Nice. <clears throat> we definitely need to sleep in here for our, uh, get rid of the abyssal corruption, for sure. Gregor, we've got ourselves settled in here, so it's time to go back for the Mongols. If we don't do it, Soul will keep stalling until Iowa Day herself comes and drags them out. Why do you want to go back for them? You show them the light of heaven, the shield mazes fall, and the ancient mongrel prophecy has come true. They want to go to the surface, but they're afraid of taking the first steps on their own. I can understand them. My father would have never gone to the surface if my mom hadn't encouraged him. Everyone needs support before taking an important step. Besides, they, you helped the young ones, saved them from the eternal court curse, or whatever that demon Windiga tried to cast on them. If they don't follow you now, I'm afraid another Savamelic might come along and take advantage of them again. Why are you coming to me, coming to me with this now? You know, I just had so much on my plate. First, we were running around putting fires in Canabras, then we were running away from the gargoyles, then we were running to save Dresden. Why don't we run to the caves now? You could ask the queen to summon the mongrels as crusaders. Soul would like a real decree with a seal, but asking you is easier 
for me. Asking a queen about such a little thing is awkward, and you don't seem to have anything to do right now, because, you know, because managing a huge fortress is so easy. Well, let's go. We could always use more fighters. Call me when you're ready to go. I'll be waiting. Absolutely, we'll go. Oh, what? The entire grove seems to be heading your way. A creaking procession of treants and moving trees approaches you, their leaves rustling. Greetings, Lushbringer, O oh, most worthy leader of the Free Crusaders. I am Skirenthal, the Rock Cleaver. Like everyone else who has come with me, I am a guardian of the perished woods of Sarkoris. Demons are our sworn enemies. They destroyed our corrupt or corrupted our forests and drained our po or poisoned the rivers that nurtured them. Unable to cope with the loss, many of my brethren have succumbed to insanity. Where spring sap once flowed in their veins, now only fury and madness remains. Those of us who've retained our sanity are to the last remaining pockets of forest in a world wound without hope. But then with one wave of a mortal's hand, the abyss blighted soil was turned into a flowering garden. If we learned of this miracle, we came here to support you in your cause, for the sake of the forests that perished and those that will be born on the healed land. I beg of you, O most worthy one, to recruit us as free crusaders and allow us to join the ranks of your allies and fight under your banners. Tree crusaders? Sure, why not? Gregory, you should bear in mind that the treants are accompanied by quick woods carnivorous plants that often hunt humans. Recruiting them would be akin to letting a pack of ravenous wolves loose in your house. Since a faint note of anger and the rustling and creaking coming from Skirinthal and his fellow creatures. Do not insult us, so stranger. We wouldn't have come all the way here and extended the branch of friendship and support just to betray our allies' trust. Treants are shepherds to the quick woods and will ensure they do no harm to no one. You don't expect us to abandon them to the demons, do you? They too are living creatures, just like you and every other crusader. But can you really be assured that your charges won't harm anyone? Look, Gregor, the best choice for you and those who trust you would be to refuse to accept them as crusaders. Still, if you choose to let them join, make the treants tell you where their groves are located and promise to burn them down in retaliation for the Quickwood's wrongdoings. No. Threaten our ally for something they have not done yet and probably never will out of the question. I will accept Skirenthal and his friends as my allies without these cruel conditions. Treants and Quickwoods respond with agitated humming and rustling. For a moment, you feel as though you're standing under a dense canopy in the middle of a downpour. Thank you, Lushbringer. Your, tr your trust is an honor, and we will prove ourselves worthy of it. Now, if you'll allow me, we will have heard tell of a special ritual you perform over your allies. Unite them as crusaders. We don't quite understand all the details of these titles and regalia, but we'd not like to see ourselves going without. We want full-fledged members of your company. I will knight you, but you must first learn how to play music. Your customs are quite unusual, but intriguing. Thank you for the honor. We'll head to your court and help our brothers and sisters in whatever way we can. <clears throat> more, yes, more! Hail, Commander. A middle-aged dwarf who has clearly seen some combat salutes you with one barely moving bone dry hand. On her face are huge scarred claw marks. A black eye patch covers one eye, but she was watching you with the other, intent and somber. Lord Yolinda Stranglehold, Chair of the Logistics Council, at your service. We got ourselves an ugly situation that requires your decision. Hey, there, I'm on this council too. You, you know me, I'm the tip-top logistic counselor. Hope I won't get in anyone's way if I join you. I think I could have give some good advice here if you don't mind. Hopefully this council will benefit from my vast experience surviving with gear that consists of rock and sticks. And where any dinner that's not squirming on your plate is considered a feast. All in all, kind of like our crusade. I won't lie to you, our logistics are a mess. We need more of everything, and that's and what we do have is in disarray. Crates of revisions are rotting away in storehouses, some because some idiot quartermaster spilled beer on the papers, and fools are not the worst problem. There's also theft. Some officers grease palms to get a helmet and stylish plumage or a fancy blade from Nerosian. Meanwhile, that means the ordinary soldiers are being armed with barely more than kitchen knives, hammers, and tongs. It's time to give the entire logistics staff the bums rush. The real question is, where do we find capable and honest people to replace them? The army's always a mess. The army, duh. If we want to get ourselves out of the bog, supplies got to be handled by real money makers, not soldiers, merchants, stone clerks, people with the habit of counting every coin, not sucking away on the kingdom's udder. These scoundrels must be replaced with de decent, honorable people, selfless souls who have proven that they put their comrades' lives above all else, especially their own wealth. Surely the that's who will take the best care of our soldiers. Let's get some veterans on the job, people who've had their fill on the front lines and who know firsthand what life is like for a common soldier, what the rations taste like, and how the boots are always the wrong size. My suggestion is to call in some experienced, well-connected supply officers from the erosion and let them leave their cushy jobs in Mendev and work up a sweat for the good of the crusade. What are the council's responsibilities? The logistics council deals with all matters of relating to supplying the army. Most issues will be travel trivial and undeserving of your attention. However, from time to time, serious decisions will need to be made. I have a question for the council. How did you end up on this council? Uh, why not? Huh? I'm your man when it comes to fetching un the unfetchable, you know, so I figured I could show the lads in your army how it's done, and it never hurts to be close to those in charge of the grub and new boots. Rishule, what are you doing on this council? You think I shouldn't have joined? 
It's just, well, I spent a lot of time setting up armies for both Crusader and Demonic when I was spying. I think my advice might be useful, or at least I hope it will be. If I don't bother, I'll leave, of course. Land, how can you be of useful? I know a thing or two about gathering weapons and provisions. Compared to the war for survival we had to wage underground, you guys have it easy up here. If things go badly, it can teach your troops to live off the land and how to craft a decent weapon from junk. They'll have memories of land special stew for years. Not sure if those will be fond memories, but they'll remember them for sure. Dorjalinda. Why were you assigned to the head of this council? Over my years of doing quartermaster duty, I managed to develop a bit of a reputation for myself. The units I'm responsible for are always probably equipped, armed, and fed. Thieves, scatterbrains, and reprobates probably get the boot. Bureaucrats who never seem to have anything rank to find everything they need after meeting with me. In short, you don't need to worry, Commander. I'm right for where I'm right where I belong. Merchants, most honest. I kind of like the idea of veterans, but then you're like pulling really good people off the front lines, maybe. Let's get the veterans. Veterans know what's what. They won't do their comrades wrong. They'll see that they're always fed, healthy, and warm. Then it's decided. No matter what our new quartermasters are like, there's no possible way they can be worse than what we have now. The results will be reported to you, and if anything that comes up, I'll call the council right away. I like this person. They didn't question my decision as they are like, but wait, what about my idea? Commander, it's time for you to play a more prominent role in Mendev's politics. Fortunately, the ideal opportunity has presented itself. Conflict is brewing in the capital. A clique of aristocrats is pleased with the rural councils, scheming against her majesty's little servants. It's the usual power struggle. Something of the sort occurs every couple of years in the civilized society. Your entrance on the political stage is long overdue. Given that your opinion in Mendev is outstandingly well respected, the rural council decided to make use of it. They're expecting you to denounce, the pub denounce publicly the nobles' attempts to challenge the rule. I suggest we publicly address her majesty and claim that we're being drawn into an intrigue. Let the queen know that we're loyal only to her, not to any of her servants or subjects. Sounds like we're not the only ones aboard the royal council. Let us support the disgruntled nobles and cousin Galfrey's advisors will have too much on their plate to worry about us. So we don't get involved in someone else's squabble and just make it clear. We'll write a public statement to the people of Mendev that they that, that will have the commander plainly say, Your bickering is not my problem. Leave me alone. Both the council and aristocrats want to stop us supporting their opponents, right? Let's just say something... Just get a payoff from both from not messing with their business. That way, when we come out with a little something-something, we don't ruffle anyone's feathers. Why am I being pulled into the intrigues? You are part of those intrigues whether you want it or not. Political influence is an unavoidable part of your position. In the hands of Mendev, you're a priceless tool, and the Royal Council won't pass up a single opportunity to use for the good of the nation. By holding a parade in Her Majesty's honor, you've shown the Royal Council that you will listen to their suggestions. As I promised, the nobility now regards you as a potential ally instead of a potential problem, and you are free to use your influence for the good of the crusade. Let's see what the Council has to say. I do hope everyone in the room is aware of potential benefits of a good relationship with the Royal Council. What do we gain from a show of loyalty to Galfrey? Or we'll remind everyone the proper behavior of true servants of the Crown. Queen Galfrey is our sovereign leader of the Crusade and protector of Mendev. In the hour when all her subjects have abandoned their com commitments and descended into the petty squabbles, we should refresh their memory on the meaning of loyalty and duty, and the Queen, I am sure, will appreciate our endeavors. The title of Her Majesty's Good Boy is almost yours, so still keep this up and you'll earn yourself a tasty treat. What would we have? Why would we support the rowdy nobles? Like if you have any, like if you have any love for the royal council, or like you have any love for the royal council, if we support the arist aristocracy. It will cause a power struggle between them and the council, and everyone will leave us. B. Besides, the nobility will have access to forces that are very much comparable to those to Galfrey's advisors, and we could use those forces. I would not recommend it. Count Arinde is simply entertaining himself by turning the royal council against you. It's the point of addressing the people. Like a true caveman, I believe in naive fairy tales. For example, I believe that the nobility and the members of the rural council still have a shred of conscience left. If people look at them and say, stop the infighting, who knows? It might work on someone. And if not, well, at least we can count on the support of the common folk. <laughs> that part about conscience was a knee slapper, and the whole common folk support thing was pretty out there, too. We've got nobles and crown feeding, feeding us resources, and it's still not enough. How are we going to wage war on chump change from bakers and grocers? Please elaborate on your strategy of non-interference. So the, how these things work on the street, right? Smaller gangs split up under the territory, shake down the shopkeepers, and give a cut to the top dog. So they sit tight with the muscle in it on the smaller gang's business. Because if the top dog is unhappy with the cut and hits the streets, it's a turf war and everyone loses a whole lot more. So we'll do the same. The nobles don't want us to support the real council. The council's scared of us backing up the nobles. Make them take out their wallets and send us a lot of troops, and we'll just sit tight and kill demons without worrying about their games. But if we run out of troops, we'll drop by the capital for one heck of a turf war. Except we're not a gang, and the group commander is given power to wage a holy war, not to rob shopkeepers and terrorize town folks. How will we, the real council replay us for our support? Spoken like a true politician, Commander. Very well, let's talk price. I can guarantee that in return for your loyalty, the Royal Council will ensure the stability of equipment deliveries in the future. Quite convenient, don't you think? Having no one twisting your arm with threats of supply shortages? Furthermore, the Royal Council may review Dresden's reinforcement plan. Mendev has plenty of garrisons holding an excess of troops. You need them more than they do. Today we're pacifying uh, Recalitrant nobles 
And then what? Stamping out peasant revolts? I must have dozed off when the priest I owe day was mentioning the commandment. Fight demons, but never give forget about the whims of the powerful. Okay, it's clear. What's Wolf doing on this council? I doubt he knows anything about politics and diplomacy. I can see that this evening possesses a keen mind, the most important trait in his politics, a complete lack of conscience. He would make a terrible leader, but it would prove useful to use an advisor. Yep, I traded my conscience for a cherry roll back when I was a kid. Um, I'm going to support the queen. We remain loyal to the queen, but we're, dra we're being dragged into an intrigue. If our actions will remain, remind the rest that we must all remain loyal to the crown and worry about the kingdom, not the personal profit. And this meeting is adjourned, but I'm certain the crusade will soon require another decision from the diplomatic council. Before that happens, Commander, I'll ask you to consider whether or not it's worth losing the royal council. It's a shut up. I don't like you. Shut up. I don't care. Hate you. No, I Let's do some management. We're going to rest, and then we'll call it an episode, I think. We're pretty much done, anyway, for this episode. That's what happens when you spend the first ten minutes uh, <laughs> working up things. Army of Thieves. Why can't I start this event? Oh, I have to... I, oh. We can accept them, send them away, arrest them. Obviously, I recognize the number of thieves and murderers. Arrest them. They belong in the ranks of the condemned. The soldiers have taken the new arrivals into custody, and those now those who have lived as criminals will likewise serve as criminals. Yeah, I mean, they're murderers. Free crusaders have delivered to the Okay, to the commander's headquarters again! We're not done quite yet. Soon, soon we shall be done. But not yet. You can do it. I believe in you. Load. Nailed it. So why am I here? Let's move. So I need to talk to Ava. Maybe I just need to... I don't know. I'm going to go rest, like I said, though. I'm going to put any books that I have away. And then I'm going to rest. These severed heads are weird. So I have no just random books, it looks like. Yeah, these are the important ones. And these are the not important ones. That we were thinking about reading later. Right, let's get our rest on. And I will see you all in the next one. What's this? Peace. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. If you've got anything to say, go to the comments below. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscription button and the bell. If you want to see more, check out this video down here. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.